unique tree planting project is continuing to break ground in Kahalu'u. Chris Latronic joins us now from Windward Oahu with more. Good morning, Chris. Yes, good morning from Kahalu'u, where they're breaking the mold for planting trees on state land right here off of Kahikili Highway. A uh, very cool project, the first of its kind, and it's being headed by Senator in the area. This is Senator Brenton Owa. Good morning, sir. So tell me, this is a pretty cool project that I've never heard of happening before. I mean, it's happened in places and communities been doing this, but as far as getting it on government land, getting it on city property, on state property, this is a state Department of Transportation property. Yeah, this doesn't happen, so we're kind of breaking the ice, and, and we hope that this will be the seed. You know, once these mountain apple trees are up, once these ulu trees are up and they're producing, people are turning their heads, much like how tourists go and they use our trails and they geotag it. We hope this place gets geotagged so that people start asking their lawmakers in their area, why can't we do this there as well? Yes, and that's amazing. So tell me, how, how did you get to the process to where we're at now, where now we're approved to plant trees here? Oh, right off the bat, you know, Kahalu, we do things different. So we knew we were going to do this no matter what. We wanted the blessing from the state so they don't try and pull out our trees. So we just went to the head of the Department of Transportation, asked them, you know, another Hawaiian who, who knows how, how food is so essential to us. And so he let us do it. We're going through all the steps in the red tape, but there's been, like you see, so much community support for this that, you know, that's what it's about. If there was no support, we wouldn't do it. But this is really the community doing this themselves. Yes, and it's an amazing one. Big ode to you as well as the community for coming out and making this project happen. Like Daniel Anthony, who is a local farmer here as well as an advocate for food security here in Hawaii. So they're going to be planting ulu and, and uh, mountain apple here. Tell me about the importance of getting rid of invasive species and replacing them with native ones. Well, let's just talk about the Ko'olaus behind me. And if we've noticed, there's been more landslides than ever before. It's because the invasive species have low root systems. These native trees have deep root systems, which helps get the water back into our aquifer. So in addition to food security, it also creates more opportunity for water management in our community. And the trees being in a public place will allow for us as a community to go and share in rootstock. You know, we have to get mountain apple seeds, make air layers off of these trees, and hopefully bring this project to your home. Yes, and that's amazing. Tell me about uh, the fruit trees that are being planted. Very beneficial and ulu, kind of getting more widely used, right? Well, these trees are part of a larger project, which over 20,000 ulu trees have been brought into Hawaii over the last 10 years through a tissue culture system. These are uh, otea and ma'afala trees. And these trees generally, um, you know, got Samoan and Tahitian history in it, but they grow all over the Pacific. Here in Hawaii, we have about six different native varieties of trees. And what the trees are doing is it's helping us to revalue what we have. Unfortunately, the Hawaiian trees are harder to find. So if you have a Hawaiian ulu tree, don't cut it down. Call us up. We want to make air layers. We need your help to preserve our important rootstock. Yes, we do. And thank you to you, uh, Annie, uh, Daniel Anthony, for helping out and volunteering all of your great efforts for this. And you can help out as well. It's happening right here off of Kahikili Highway. We'll have a link on our website and how you could come down and help, especially on December 16th, where they actually need uh, lots of hands to Lao Lima and plant those trees right here in Kahalu, a great food security project. This is Chris Atronic working for Hawaii, sending things back to you. All right.